Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, how's it going? <laughs> well, pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I mean, nice to nice to meet you. I have to say. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, we we, we have been uh, racing together, but not like really. Not really racing. Person. Yeah, I would say we were in the same lobby, but not you know competitive <laughs> racing together. I mean, because I'm I'm trying to, how would I say? I'm trying to I'm trying to kind of seek advice on uh, on the areas where I, where I can actually improve. But if I got a combo like this, where everything is moving so quickly, and I mean only four breaking points. What can I tell you? I mean, yeah. Yeah, and, and especially like if you really want to improve your driving skills, I, I I think it's better to do like a session with GR3 or something like that because you really need to um, do better inputs. I think. Oh. Okay. More precise with the steering wheel and everything, just in case. I mean, yeah. Okay. I hope everything is okay. I'm gonna. What do you want me to do? Should I do like a few laps, like um? Yeah, just try to. Um, okay. To it, uh, and by the way, what do you think about the braking bias? Zero. Um, for the body, I think zero, but for the race, definitely minus five. Yeah. I think third is here, because... Yes, yes, I think so too. I mean, grip reduction in second. Ah, this is too early. It's almost on the 100 meter board. Almost done, okay. Almost 100, yeah. And what about ripping up the car? Should I get in 7th quicker or not? No, uh, you can actually stretch a little bit more. As much as you stretch, like, it's better. Ah, okay. But only the last gear. Uh, all of them, if you don't hit the rev, it's 283. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, this this is yeah. It's tricky. It's really tricky. Do you think it's even better to get like from third into fourth? Or no, I think you you gotta keep in third. But there there's a little trick there. I will explain you. Uh, okay. More to the 100. I think you started to hit the um, throttle too early on, on, on that last half. Yeah. Too early? Yeah. So you see that the car like went under steering wide. I think you mm -hmm. can wait just a little bit more and point more the car towards the exit there. Okay. I mean, I'm not, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really on the limit at this point. I'm just, you know, trying to find the, trying to really find the rhythm here. I know this can be a little bit quicker, yep. but, you know, those little things that it doesn't matter that in which car you are, it doesn't really matter because I, I would say that I don't fully understand that stuff. I do, but, you know, I'm always missing something. And like one more question, are you, when you're in the time trial, are you playing with uh, the break and bias around the lap? Like, yes. I mean, that's what I always wanted to ask you, like, how much is it actually helping? I mean, effectively. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Okay. But like, it, it helped me, uh, it, it doesn't make me okay, go gonna... quick, I think. Okay. And I think it makes me more consistent to what I'm doing, so it helped me to do like uh, really well, mm -hmm. you know, without taking too much um, attempts to do it, rather than making me quicker. If you ah, okay, so me. so when you're doing, let's say you're doing time trials, so that's basically making you do your laps faster. 
I mean... Yes. Okay, okay. Because uh, um, usually the... Um, mm -hmm. um, the physics here of the game, it's uh, a little bit... Uh, understeer. And I really like the car a little bit more pointy, so... Uh, on the heavy braking, mm -hmm. I always use zero or minus one, like, but basically zero. Because if you put towards the back, um, the braking distance will be longer. Okay. You cannot brake in the same distance. Okay. So for the heavy braking, you want to use zero almost always. Like almost always zero. That's uh... zero. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like you're going to the hairpin, or you you know hit the brake on the hundred meter board, hundred fifty, and you know you have to slow down the car. Then I use zero. Okay. So. But uh, uh, one... on, on the high mm -hmm. speed corners, which I wanted the car to point a little bit more, and especially you trail brake a little bit, and and you're using a little bit the brakes, but you want the the rear to kind of help to turn a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then I put towards the back. So you, uh, I I believe that's kind of a you help the car to rotate, I guess. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. But exactly. Uh, one question: Are you doing this with all of the cars, or there are some exemptions? I mean, there usually are some exemptions, but. I mean, in general. Yes. In general, like. Group free. Let's put it into a group. Yeah. Usually with the Lamborghini, I don't play too much with a brake bias. Okay. Because that car. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah. Okay. But but for example, with the Supra, uh, especially on the mid speed or high speed corners, like I always tend to put a little bit towards the back. Oh, okay. If you know when you hit the brakes. And you see that the car is rotating, but not really sliding. Then I, for me, it's good. Okay. So when it's not sliding, it's okay as long as it's stable on the braking. That's what you're yeah, trying exactly. to. Yeah, exactly. Okay. When I'm driving this car, mm -hmm. um, I like to put my force feedback on the minimum. Uh, okay. Why is that? I mean, because it just. So this car. Mm -hmm. So 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 this car has a lot of downforce, right? Yeah. And uh, when you are coming into the corner, like entering the corner, uh -huh. you are still um, going um, lowering your speed. So you are arriving with a high speed, and okay. when you start to turn in the car, you are still in um, like kind of high speed because okay. you didn't slow down. You know. It still has a lot of downforce, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because in the, in the wheel, I mean, that's uh, that's the thing that I also, also wanted to ask you. Like, in the super formulas, I'm okay with, let's say, group free. But when I get into super yes. formulas, I was, like, not not competitive with the players that I'm usually competitive. I mean, I'm, like, beating them easily. And this way, uh -huh. I'm starting in, like, 16th place. And I was thinking, like, what the hell am I doing, Rock? And I just couldn't... I, I, yeah. I, I think it's this thing about the turning in. Because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with the GR3 and everything, okay. that's why I said, like, you really have to put in your skills and you don't have to have, like, little extra because of the car behavior or how the physics of the game works. Okay. So I, I think G GR3, it, it's better uh, because you really have to use your skills. And those cars, you have a little tricks. It's not like you don't have to have any skills, but you have some tricks to be fast with it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, trick here and there, it always helps. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you're just waiting a little bit longer to get on the power. Yeah, and then doing that, your car will be pointed a little bit more towards the exit. Mm -hmm. And the second part that you go to the flat out part, okay. it will be quicker. It's gonna be like an 18, almost. Yeah, I think we can do 18 here. Yeah, I do think so. Like, I also see that you are... You're not downshifting heavily like I am. So is this something that you do intentionally or is it just... You know... Um, is it I better? For, especially for the last year, mm -hmm. I tend to wait a little bit more and downshift a bit more on the entry of the corner, so I help to rotate the car with the downshift as well, just on the last key. Okay, okay. Ok, 
Okay, I can see waiting, 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 and then you go on the power. So the so important stuff. I think you can rise a little bit more the speed, entry speed of the corner one, if you apply more precisely the the steering input. Okay. More aggressively, only in one's movement. So braking is just a bit after the start of the curves. Okay. And once you start turning, like you once want, like do kind of like this, you know. You want to do it smoothly, it. or no, no, not like smoothly, but like in a once movement. You, you don't want to be like, a, I'm start to turn in, and then I realize that I'm not turning. Uh, I'm turning too much, and then re like come back, and then kind of go again. You really want to pick mm -hmm. up like only once, only one movement. Oh, okay, okay. Because this timing thing will make a huge difference also in this car. Like, uh, I mean, if you do only one small correction, it can take a lot of time from you, I guess. Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. And then, you know, you was eating uh, well the curb on the inside. Mm -hmm. And here, like, you, you don't have to care too much um, at the beginning um, to, like, where the car is going. Okay. And then once you are, are arriving almost in the curb, then to have like a, a bit more straight line you don't want to steer in on the curb so if you uh -huh. do like a kind of late apex you will be still steering in the on, on top of the curb here okay because of the angle you know and, and if you uh -huh. don't do that much of a, a late apex on the previous corner mm -hmm. you will be actually coming a, a little bit more in a straight line uh, because you have to finish the, the, the corner so you'll be coming here a, a little bit more straight line so you don't struggle too much on the exit I mean I also noticed this uh, you were doing this one in group 2 uh, which almost yes. like makes it the same I would say like how high I mean high speed a lot of downforce cars so you were always kind of getting uh, kind of the inside I mean inside of the first curb then it rotates you uh -huh. in the middle of the track and then you kind of try to turn in as late as possible. Is this what is like... I mean, I had this in mind, really. I mean, you're trying to get as late as you possibly can into the turn, but still get in rotation so you can straighten up the car, bef you know, straighten up the car before you fully apply the throttle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So that, like, rotation is very important because you don't want to really be steering uh, uh, on top of that curb because mm -hmm. you will lose control, you will be also um, you know struggling on top there and also for this corner like you don't have to really hit the inside apex too much okay because what you want to set up is for the next corner and not for the previous one because anyways you'll be doing flat out and they yeah it doesn't not matter gonna mm -hmm. do much different and and so you, you want to place the car like around here you know almost uh, with the four wheels on the curb just the, the right side oh, okay uh, Okay. On the white line, so you can maximize the. Or maximize the angle. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and here as go. well, you don't want it to be um, with four wheels on top, but for the right side, like fully on on the curve. Mm -hmm. And for uh, this one, it's not really flat. <laughs> Easily, yeah. And here I think you, you, you saw me doing, uh, but yeah, uh, just break almost on the 100, like here. And wait, wait, wait. Once the car is more pointed straight line, you can be a lot more aggressive on the power. Uh, so you basically wait a little bit longer, straighten up the car more, and then you fully apply yes. the throttle. So you actually get in a better exit speed, I guess, with all of that. Yes, exactly. Okay. For the last corner also, what I realized is you, you don't have to attack the curb. Just the pass, passing the, the curb, you start to brake. 
Okay. And once you brake, you almost instantly like start to release and turn in the car. Okay. You you, you don't really st straight line braking. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's like and you gain uh -huh. okay a, a, a lot of time because you know you have downforce. So at the entry, you can carry a lot of speed, mm -hmm. and you don't have to really like um, stop in a straight line because you are trying to use the curb stop stop in a straight line and then start to, to to turn in. Okay. Okay. You can combine a lot more with entry and and braking. Okay. And and also another thing I want to tell you mm -hmm. is that. Um, so, so the tire has a maximum amount of G's that you can apply on it. Okay, yeah, I understand that. And, and then, like, but it's it's combined. Mm -hmm. So if you are applying, I don't know, the, the tire can take 3G. So you, if you are applying 3G on the braking, you won't be able to turn because the tire w w cannot take this amount of I, it will It will understeer, basically. Yes. It, it just goes straight line. Mm -hmm. So y you gotta like break and then release and also combine with the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. So you can like, for example, uh, at the very up beginning of the brake, you are applying 3G on the braking. But okay. then if you go 80% of the brake, you go, I don't know, 2.5G, but you are already start to applying half a G on the turning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand the concept. I mean, so basically, your your wheel must follow your brakes. Basically, that's it. Yes, like the the wheels have to follow the amount of force you are applying on the mm -hmm. steering wheel and on the brakes as well. So you all like into into the corner until the mid part of the corner. You always want to have like I don't know three Gs of force to mm -hmm. your car, okay. and you have to transfer that by your inputs because on acceleration you you won't gain uh, enough g okay. but uh, on the brake you can get i mean how do you uh, how do you find the perfect balance i mean is it just like you testing it on the track or you just you know yes you, uh -huh. you gotta test it and for example if you start to understeer the, um, mm -hmm. then you are too much on the brake yet and and if you cannot really like uh, you know down um, how can i say you, you feel like there is uh, even if you brake a little bit more the car will just keep turning it means that you know you are under the limit mm -hmm. okay so yeah okay so yeah, 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 yeah I understand the, right the concept I mean I had this uh, I had this problem with tire wear for example I mean I'm usually very 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 bad with tires and I kind of didn't understand what I was doing wrong and I kind of I mean I thought it was something like this. So basically, I'm turning in before the car can actually handle the turn at the speed. It, yeah, it probably yes. And also in the Gran Turismo, mm -hmm. there is the the thing that if you don't break hundred percent, you save a lot the front tires. Okay. I mean, so if you watch my streams, <laughs> I um, watch yeah, <laughs> a lot. Like you see that often, I don't break hundred percent, especially with the tire wear on. Mm -hmm. And this is just to save the front tire because it makes a massive difference. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I mean, you got the you got the Thrustmaster pedals, I guess. Yes, the TLCM. I mean, how? I mean, on my, for example, on my V3s, are are, are you using a lot of force? I mean. Yes. Or like a lot of force. I'm using eighty-six uh, kilograms. Oh, okay. That's yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, yeah. And I have to use, you know, the, the boots because I think barefoot, I, I cannot take it. No, my, I mean, that's why I, that's why I'm asking because I, I kind of had it. It was really, really hard. And my, literally my legs started to hurt. I mean, I couldn't like, I was limping for a while, actually. I mean, I did this like three hour session and I was like, oh yeah, sh sh I, I, th I think I, yes. yeah. And if you go to the like real formulas, we apply mm -hmm. I don't know 120, 130 kilos. So you basically need to slam down the brakes if you wanna if you wanna stop. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's quite tough. Yeah, I mean, I'm using very very 
a little breaking. I mean, I'm basically using. I mean, I don't even I don't even know how much, but it's very very light. So maybe I should try uh -huh. applying that. You know, applying more. Maybe. Yes, um, because heavier. For example, um, I, I would I would just use the example 150 mm -hmm. kilograms because it's easier. But if you are using 100 kilograms, your like one kilogram force will apply to one percent of breaking force. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot more margin to kind of control it a little better. You know, uh, fine tune okay. the break. But if you use only 50 uh, kilograms. Uh, half a kilogram will be one percent of force so you have to be like really tricky because mm -hmm. if you press just a tiny bit more then it can change a lot uh, on the braking input so that's why we prefer uh, a, a stiffer brake because of that because it basically you're more precise i guess yes after all but you, you have to have strength uh, as well yeah i do believe i have to you know i have to put more force into that and not uh, not do it like this because it's like too light. I think you have to also find yourself. You have to change a little bit, mm -hmm. and then not try just for a few hours, but try for a longer period. If, if you know you can really adapt to that, because even myself, mm -hmm. I started putting I think seventy kilograms or something like that, okay. and then I get used to that, and I feel like okay, it's still a little bit light. So I was uh, turning up little by little, and now I'm. So in general, what do you think about my driving style? Is it like, is it like too aggressive? Am I being too impatient? I got I got this feeling that in most of the turns I try to turn in too quickly. No, I don't think that. What I'm I'm seeing here is that you're a little bit impatient with the throttle. Okay, so I should kind of. Uh, give the car you more should, space like, um, I, what I think you, you should release the brake uh, in some corner slightly earlier ah, okay. so you still have kind of momentum so you don't need the throttle too early ah, okay I mean I'm to to not go to the inside so basically here because I you're... should like I mean not not like this I, I wanted to I wanted to let completely off the brakes, but oh. I should be like off the brakes, but here at this point I should be like sooner off the brakes. It... Yes, exactly. Okay. I mean I'm seeing I'm seeing all of the problems that I have, but it's probably as you said before, um, the pedals that I'm using. So I'm I'm not saying that they're the best better pedals, but I'm not using uh, the force I should be. So I should understand. Yeah, I should have more force into that. And then if you don't go to the uh, throttle pedal, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, 20%, you will go too much to the inside. Exactly, yes. And then when you apply a little bit of throttle, you are creating understeer because your load transfer to the rear. And, and then for the moment that you go to the 100%, it gets delayed quite by a lot, by quite a lot. Okay, so I'm losing... Because you are on the steering. And one thing that I think it, it's costing you too much time is mm -hmm. this thing of the throttle that you... Ha like, even before hitting the mid corner sometimes you are... Like, I already like, start... Oh, okay. Yes. And you don't want to do that really. So basically I should let... Uh, for example, I'm gonna go in this turn because I think it's kind of a good example. So I'm going in here, I'm braking. I should get earlier off the brakes and then later on the power so i'm not causing understeer yes. so even exactly. here basically i'm going in and then here i start to apply it i mean yep. and you, you you can go a little bit more gentle to the throttle ah, but okay. like the idea is to get um you know quicker from zero to hundred percent because now you're like you know zero to twenty percent ah, okay and then you're staying there for a few seconds and then go to the hundred percent like basically here i'm like I mean, this is a, yeah, this is not the same type of uh, type of corner, but basically I'm going in here, I'm going in the turn, so I should wait a little bit longer, but get on the power earlier. Yeah, like, like this, yes. Like, ah, okay, 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 <laughs> you got me there, I mean, I, I didn't even realize that I was doing this stuff, I mean, out of all of this, I got like, 
two like I would say <laughs> two big advices. I mean, I should increase my overall sensitivity of uh, of my brakes because this is I'm not applying any braking pressure actually. I mean, I'm like very very loose, and also with the power, I should be kind of uh, I should be more patient on the power, and when I get on the power, I should be more like gradual but fast like going from this yes. point okay uh -huh. that's correct and in in the red bull case you can also combine more with braking and the steering wheel uh what do you mean like turning and braking or what do you mean uh i mean oh, with the previous combo that we did with the red bull uh the okay. competition yeah yeah with that car you can um as the example of the last corner that you break you start to release already and you know don't do too much straight line braking you break and start to turn uh, pretty quick okay so I'm like break and then almost immediately like almost immediately into trail braking yes kind of almost but like but you know yeah like uh, you you gotta still use uh, a, a bit more I think 70 80 percent and and then release like so yes. I, I mean the car. I know the car has to stop, but I'm going to 100. But I'm not holding it to 100 and completely going to 20. That's what you're saying. Yep. So I'm going here uh -huh. and then, uh, yes, like something like this. I mean, that's why I, that's why I told you like it's very difficult for me to get this part right. Mm, okay, because I, when I'm looking at your replays and. I'm I'm kind of focused on how much throttle you're applying it at each point, but I didn't. Uh -huh. it, it wasn't really clear for me why you're, how you're managing to put the power down so quickly. But I think now, you know, when I'm not when I know what I'm doing wrong, it I, I know what is the what is the actual mistake. So basically, I was producing so much understeer that the car couldn't handle yes. the amount of uh -huh. you know the amount of uh, the amount of force that for example you were putting in at the same time so i couldn't match your input because i was causing too much understeer yep i mean now when i'm watching you drive and you just explained all of this stuff it kind of makes sense because you really see right like what I'm yeah doing, what i mean I'm i mean the replay is not the same the replay is okay but it's not telling you everything. But just on uh, watching you drive, uh, ah, in 208.5. So, yeah. So I, I think it's a decent time. Well, you gave me, you gave me a good reference time, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I mean. And also, mm -hmm. also another thing is really to sort out the the, the brakes because the sensibility you you have to have. Uh, some sensibility between 100 and 70 percent yeah because mm -hmm. when you're saving saving tires you want to always hit i don't know 75 80 percent yeah i understand i mean uh, i think it's a damper kit uh yeah actually it's not a damper kit but it's um you got those rubber things that you put into pedals and i tried to put that okay. in and basically there is literally no movement uh -huh. So I wanted to see, like, is it in the real car like that or not? Yes, in the real car it is. In the, in the real car, so it's basically replicating the real car, okay. Yes, like any Formula car or even GT3 car, it have like very, very stiff pedal like that. It almost like you're hitting a rock, but like you have to adjust for, for your liking, I think. Um, because for, for myself, for example, mm -hmm. I'm adjusting uh, 86 kilograms, it, it's more or less the hardest springs when I hit fully until like the um, the stopper mm -hmm. okay. it hit 100% on, on the break in the game so this is like kind of I have the, the travel reference of the pedal and also the amount of pressure so I have like both references to hit the the mm -hmm. amount of uh, break I want Ah, uh, so you got like two things that you're looking for, basically, if you put it into simple terms. 
Yes, yes, like there, there's two reference instead of only one, which is the pressure or the travel, for example. So you basically got travel pressure. plus pressure. I, yeah, I do believe that's better. Yes. I mean, so you, you can try to, 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 to compromise those two. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once you hit the break, when you stop per hit in, it's 100 percent. And, you know, uh, try to work on it, uh, increase both or decrease both. OK, I mean, I'll, I'll try to work my way up with that but i mean i i think it's you know it, it's gonna be a little bit difficult but you know it, it's not simple by by yes, any means uh, I, I know it's not simple but if you're looking to to get to the next step i think it's something that you i mean that's the next step because i mean yeah. like even a year ago i wasn't at this step but now i, I really want to get you know i really want to break a constant top 20 like a uh -huh. constant top 20 in the nations, I want to get there. So I think that's the next step. And the next step after that is something, you know, <laughs> something different. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what can I tell you? Like, thank you for all the information that you no provided. Problem, 